<laughs> Let me show you what the last couple of weeks volunteering in Puerto Rico looked like. On the previous episode of Volunteering in Puerto Rico, I was able to spend some time exploring the rainforest and Vieques beaches before heading to the main island to complete a solar trailer build at the Humacao Fire Station. We worked with the firefighters and volunteers from our nonprofit to create an off-grid system in times of power outages and medical emergencies. It was a long but beautiful two weeks. In this episode, Oscar and I got to hike down a riverbed right next to the farm in Vieques. These little guys are called cubitos. A fun fact about Vieques, it was called Crab Island by the British during the colonial period, and for good reason. Every time I venture off into the rainforest on this island, I can't get over its natural magic in all its details. And going out during sunset is one of my favorite times to be present with the wild horses. I don't see that ever getting old. Our beautiful local friend, Arita, comes over and has dinner with us multiple times a week, and on Wednesdays, she graces us with her professional dancing skills. She's an incredible teacher. Gregorio hosted Trivia Night for the house, which was a total blast. All right, ready? This is the song. It's all I fucking care about hearing. And then it was his time to say goodbye. It was my first goodbye to a volunteer while at the farm. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sad that you're leaving. No, I'm gonna keep seeing your videos though. Mm -hmm. Makes it a lot. Have so much fun. Thank you. Bye. Our newest volunteers were three Yale students we named the Gems. They decided to take a gap year and come contribute on the farm. They were great at making dinners for the house. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Nick. <laughs> I'm from New Hampshire. <laughs> Oh. No, but you're yeah. Connecticut. Yeah, I'm Connecticut. New Hampshire. And you're born and raised where? Yes, a variety of places, but I was born Oh, that's Oregon. right. You were, yes. you were all over. Oh. And they got the chance to learn how to make fresh sourdough bread, which they did a lot of while they were here. Yes, the best part. They also helped a lot by making community meals, which we do three times a week. Then, as hectic farm life goes, <laughs> this big guy broke out of his pen. Hey, big guy. Can you get out? Can you get out, buddy? After running into the rainforest a couple times, he eventually got back in his pen thanks to Pete feeding him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Come on, let's go! At the house, we have realized that we all have a severe bread addiction. It's too dang convenient for farm life. And after weeks of talking about it, some of us finally got together to practice yoga. And of course, something farm related interrupted. I loved practicing with my housemates. Sharing space with them in this intentional atmosphere means a lot to me. Recently, we have completed a lot of garden work. 
Our garden supervisor has been busy directing us so that we take full advantage of the rainy season. Grover is all grown up now and getting along well with the big ducks. I'm so proud. Where's Grover? Are you Grover? I'm taking a little break from editing a video right now to go see how work is going on the car. We have two cars and they have been giving us trouble for like three weeks. So we technically don't have a working car right now. And Oscar and Pete and Elena helped some too, have been grinding on trying to fix it. First it was a water pump. Now I don't know if it's like an engine issue or what. Well, because the problem is the fuel pump. We gotta take the fuel pump out of the fuel tank. But to take the fuel pump, we gotta disconnect the fuel lines. What's wrong with this one? <sighs> Needs Jesus. <laughs> um, the head gasket probably went on it. Um, so it's leaking from the headers. So it needs like basically half an engine rebuild. So which one can we kind of drive right now? None. We shouldn't be driving any of them. We shouldn't be driving any of them because the more we drive this, the more, the biggest problem that we're going to end up if we keep driving it and we overheat it again, we're probably going to warp the heads. And at that point, it's like you need a whole new engine or a giant engine rebuild that we just don't have the tools for. Okay. So we might be shopping for a new car? Sure. <laughs> Maybe, but shopping means Big Island. Yo, you don't want to buy a car here? The, the, the running joke is this is where cars come to die. <laughs> it's like the end of the line for pretty much every car. And most of them, we, we joke about it, but we call them island cars just because like, we just don't really have a good shop to take them to. Or, you know, there's no dealership here. There's no auto parts place. There's, you know, so you're just like, repairing the issues until it finally dies and you just give up on it <laughs> buying a car online here is not thing like, you go to cars.com and there's probably like eight cars listed on that thing <laughs> we got to find the funding to then go figure out our budget to then go possibly buy a car doesn't the van work the van works only in forward it doesn't work in reverse because it needs a new transmission so if you go anywhere you got to put her in reverse you're screwed I believe in you. You can fix it. <laughs> you can fix it. <laughs> we just got the ducklings a fresh little cage. Look at this little paradise you guys are growing in. They're all nice and clean for you because you were stinky. What are you guys working on? Picking up dirt. Picking up dirt? Yeah. <laughs> Making a new bed. I'm taking the grass and ready to get the dirt off so we can keep dirt in the garden. And also so we can have greens to feed to the animals. Nice. Yeah, Hannah taught me that too. Like to shake off the dirt. Yeah. Leave the dirt in the ground. These greens look super good. Mm. Put your back into it. Greg has been here longer than any of us, besides obviously Oscar, and he's built most of our fences. What are you working on today? Everything's left out. Putting everything away? No pallets? Fence. No fencing today? <laughs> we use pallets that we pick up from local warehouses because building materials are insanely expensive on the island. And it's important to us to reuse materials. It's still rainy season here, but thankfully we made it through the scariest two weeks of hurricane season. Time to go collect some eggs. doing the 10 a.m. egg check, which is the only time of the day that we collect duck eggs. Come on out. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come here. supposed to be in there. 
Oh my god. Sam, you're so cute. Come on, baby face. You're not supposed to be in there. Of course, Oscar and I have been active in the kitchen, cooking for the house dinners and experimenting with recipes. We made a spinach ravioli video and we'll soon share a falafel burger recipe. Hi guys, welcome to another recipe video. I am Jessica the plant killer. Okay, I Hi! Hi! Will you come out like this? <laughs> yeah! We'll see how it comes out. <laughs> been able to work more in the garden lately because I don't have a lot of video priorities for the nonprofit at the moment so I've gotten to know the garden a little better and I feel more comfortable like harvesting stuff which I didn't before so I get really excited to do this and get fresh ingredients for dinner time Here is where we've been creating more beds. We got three, almost four new rows that we've been working pretty hard to put in, trying to take advantage of the rain that makes it a lot easier to create garden beds than during dry season. It's like literally impossible. Letting you go, I was just letting you know. I know the weather is cold, but you on your own. I ain't no regular Joe. You should have left me alone. I'm in the zone. I'm where the predators roam. We have the Senate in Rome, and I'm on the throne. This ain't no regular poem. This ain't that regular tone. No, do you follow me? That's a giant tarantula. Rare. How exciting! We're gonna have more beds. Yeah, it is exciting. Yeah. Like what you see, do I follow your path? I don't know if I like you, I just know that you bad. Who you driving me crazy? You could drive in that cab. Pop. This is Sparta! You gotta hop out. Always been a player, never dropped out. Grab a cop the necklace for I cop. She want attention, I played a film with my henchmen. She want me back in detention. And we have a crap ton of arugula. We're growing this all over the farm right now in the garden areas because it grows so well here. And we're gonna try to sell it eventually so that we can have some funding for some of our projects. It's all of our baby arugula. Keep growing guys, you're doing awesome. By the way, this is like the pepperiest arugula I've ever had. It's so good, but it's really, really strong. It kind of takes some getting used to because it is so peppery. <laughs> Hi, duckies. You guys are getting so big. You're gonna go into the big duck pen soon. You're about ready. We got those from the main island when we were there last, and they were so tiny and cute. But we've been expanding our duck area because we find that they're kind of the easier of the animals to maintain. They're pretty low maintenance and they do really well here. And so we're expanding on what we call the Duck Palace. Right over there. Basil also does really well here. So we're growing a lot of that to potentially sell as well. There are marigolds. Like we have a couple of tomatoes which are a lot more difficult to grow around here i think it's cool i get to show you guys this area that you know a lot of volunteers before i got here since i've been here have worked really hard in keeping these gardens alive and growing them and i've been lucky enough to get my hands dirty in them especially lately and then our lead garden and like compost and waste management person is leaving soon, which kind of like makes me nervous, but really excited at the same time because I'm gonna have to be making some like, some decisions on my own in the garden, which is like nerve wracking, but it's, it's quite a learning experience. If some of you have seen some of my past videos from the summer, you know that I started gardening in Texas and it taught me a lot. <laughs> so I'm happy to keep getting, you know, my hands deep and dug into the earth. I think this is enough ingredients for the salad and falafels for tonight. It's 
been a few busy weeks, but so nice staying on the farm, getting to know my housemates while keeping up with the operations on the farm. Who's excited to go see some bioluminescence? <laughs> the last night the Gems and Caroline were here, we finally got to see the bioluminescent bay, which has been called the eighth wonder of the world. To say the least, it was insanely hard to comprehend what our eyes had seen. We will never forget it. Then it was time to say goodbye to four more volunteers. Okay, group hug. This is how we should have started every morning. I know. I know. And we'll be able to do this with that many people because of COVID. Oh, no. I know. Yeah, this is probably, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to be around that, like this many people for yeah. a while. We're all high right now on Bio Bay. Truly. Such a serene end. It, it went halfway and then it stopped. It print half of it. It just pulled the paper halfway. Like, Did you say goodbye to the animals? No, I need to do it right now. Do it, go. Okay, I'm really? Trying to do this. Okay. Follow me. <laughs> and this is where we weeded. <laughs> goodbye, Big Richard. Bye, babies. Follow Big Richard. Bye, Some last belly rub. Yeah. Yeah. One last <laughs> belly rub. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh my god. I love you. Like, what the fuck? Who are you? Who are you? Okay. The circle of life. You <gasps> greeted me. Life. You greeted me when I got here, and now I'm getting to say goodbye to you. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. <laughs> you're my favorite 20 year old ever. <laughs> oh, you're my favorite 30 ish year old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever met somebody like you in my oh, life. baby. <laughs> I love you. You're doing great things. Too. I don't like when people say you're gonna do great things because you already are. You already <laughs> That's, are. I love that. You already I are. I like that one. That's cute. You're doing my family. family. I will. I'll see you again. I'll okay. see you again. Yeah. What an amazing last few weeks in VA case it has been. I'm so happy where I am at and couldn't imagine being anywhere else. I pray that feeling for all of you. Until the next video, stay safe and stay well, friends. And please subscribe to this video to see more. Thanks. Peace.